Hello again. Uh, we're going to work really quickly, excuse me, with natural logarithms. And they follow the same properties as logarithms, so it shouldn't be too bad. On the first problem, what I want you to do is write it uh, from exponential form to logarithmic form, uh, natural logarithmic form. So it's basically the same thing. I'll show you how to do it. If you want to write this in natural logarithmic, uh, logarithmic form, pardon me, uh, this is your base, so it's natural log of e. We're not working with logs because uh, e itself is a natural log. It's something that occurs uh, naturally in nature. And this is equal, uh, it's equal to x, and it's 5. So basically, e to the x equals 5. That, that's all you're doing when you're going from here to here. So e to what number equals 5 is what you're trying to solve for. Uh, I'm just, just showing you from exponential to logarithmic form. So that's all you really have to do. And on this part, I just want to show you inverse properties really quickly. The other properties are the same. So uh, the only thing that really needs mentioning is the inverse properties. And in this case, I've got e to the natural log. Now, if you don't see a base, that's because the base is e of 7. Uh, these cancel. It's the same thing. They're inverses. And you're left with 7. And in this case, you've got natural log of e to the 4x plus 3. Well, it's the same thing. The base is automatically e of e, 4x, plus 3, Four x plus three is your answer. Uh, with that said, that's a very quick uh, look at natural logarithms. We're going to do just another lesson on it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, that's helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.